Welcome to part two of this little Android series that I'm doing for Blender, where we're gonna be making this little Android looping animation in Blender. If you haven't already seen part one, where we do most of the modeling, that is on my channel. So this is part two. We'll continue a little bit and it'll, it'll be part three and four. And as of all of my projects that I do on YouTube here, I will be uploading the blend file to my Patreon. You can check that out in the description. So um, let's jump into part two and continue making our little animation. So now that we're in part two, let's go ahead and let's grab the arms. First of all, we're gonna come to the drop down and apply the array and let's apply the mirror. And let's just also grab the hand and apply that mirror. Holding in shift with the hand selected, select the arm and go control J. And now this is all joined as one object. All we're gonna do now is press F3 and go origin. And let's go origin to geometry. And now it's in the center. So if we double tap R, it all kind of rotates around the middle. This is also bring back our cutter. A to select everything. Let's go G, Z, and just move it up till it's sitting on the floor. Let's hide our cutter object. There we go. And now we're gonna go, make sure our cursor is obviously in the center. We're gonna go Shift A. We're gonna go to our armature, add in an armature, and let's go to our object data properties for the bones. Let's go to the viewport display, and let's just make the display as B bone. Now let's go into edit mode with this bone selected and let's grab this bone. Let's just grab the top knob and just move it down a bit. And we're gonna click on this bone, go to our bone properties. Let's just call this root. And we're just gonna go shift D to duplicate this bone, bring it up here. And if you can't see it, just go to your viewport display or you'd have to go to your um, object data properties for the bones and under the viewport display, just go in front. That way it's see-through. So now let's just go back to our bone properties. And with this guy now duplicated, we're just gonna grab this top knob and go G to move it and just move it over to our right. Select the bone and just go S, Z, zero and hit enter. And that just makes sure to flatten the bone. And then we're gonna place it at the base of the arm. So I'm gonna place mine right about here and just maybe move this knob in a little bit. So just right down here in the bottom, in the middle of the arm. And I might just move it back just a little bit. And then with this little knob here selected on the end, okay, you can see it's orange. We're gonna go E to extrude in the front view and go X and just extrude along the X all the way till we get to the end of this hand here, like so. And with it still active, we're gonna go E to extrude and X one more time and just extrude to the end of the hand like so. And if you wanna see this a bit better, you can select the middle bone here and with it selected, you can go to armature, transform, and then just go down to scale B bone and now you can scale it and just make it a bit skinnier. So let's go with something like that. That's optional, it just makes it easier to see. And with that done, we're gonna go over to our bone properties here. And let's go to the bendy bone. And let's give it something like 15 segments, uh, or maybe even a bit more, um, maybe 18. Yeah, just so we have some nice bendy segments here if you wanna bend our arm later. That essentially just means that this bone here in the middle is flexible. And now what we wanna do is we wanna select this end bone here and, and with it active, we wanna go Alt P and go disconnect bone and also Alt P and just clear the parent. And for some reason, this bone here is rolled. I don't know why that's happened. I'm just gonna select it because these both have a roll of 90. The one in the middle here has zero. So I'm just gonna come here under the bone properties, under the transform, just give it 90 as well. And that should fix that. I don't know why that's happened. I've never had that happen before. But yeah, so now we have this bone and we have this bone that's been loosened. Anyway, with this bone now selected, hold and shift and select this bone down here. So these two, and then while you're still holding and shift, select the root bone and go control P and let's go keep offset. So now they're parented to this root bone. And to make mirroring it over easier, we're just gonna grab this bone down here under our bone properties. Let's just call it um, arm base dot capital L, so it's extremely important that you do the dot capital L. Then select the middle bone, let's just call it uh, middle dot capital L. And let's just grab the hand and call it hand dot capital L. Now, I can't emphasize this enough, it really does matter that you do it exactly as dot capital L on the end. It doesn't matter what you name the bone, but it has to be followed with dot capital L. With that done, you can select these bones now you can go to armature and you can go down to symmetrize and it's going to symmetrize it over to the other side. And you can see it's automatically named these now as dot capital R. Okay. And you can also do that the other way around. If you built it on this side, 
you could symmetrize it over onto the other side, which is kind of a really cool trick. It's gonna save you a lot of time. So now we have these bones. And now with that done, we wanna go over into our pose mode. So let's start by selecting the hand over here, holding and shift select the middle bone, control shift C, and let's go ahead and make this stretch too. And now if we select this hand bone, we move it, you can see it stretches along like so. And let's grab the other, the right hand bone, holding and shift select the middle bone and go control shift C or command shift C, whichever one, and then go stretch two. And now that has the same constraint. So if you grab this hand bone, that stretches as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you can see here that if we move this, it moves along, but if we rotate the hand, there's no rotations. Let's select the middle bone, go to your bone pro um, properties, and let's just go down to the bendy bones. And we should be able to go down here to these options. Let's change them both to absolute. So the end handle and the start handle. And then we're gonna to go to the top custom bone and let's just select in this case, the arm base.l. So that's this bone. And let's just get the end handle and let's just make that the hand.l. So now if we select this and we rotate it, that rotates along. And if we grab this and we rotate it, that also bends it. So let's do the same thing over here. Let's grab this hand, middle bone. Let's just go change that to absolute and the end handle to absolute. And this time we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna go arm base dot capital R for the top handle. And for the bottom end handle here, we're just gonna go and make that hand dot R. So now we can rotate the hand here and that bends and we can rotate this R base bone as well. So now we have a cool way of controlling the arms. Now what we can do, we can go into object mode. Let's now select our arms and holding and shift select a rig like so and then go Control P, and let's go with automatic weights. And now these are weighted to the rig. So if we now grab our rig and we go into pose mode, and we now control it, we can see that the arms go along like that. So we can kind of grab this guy here, go G, move it, S to scale it, or you know, maybe scale this, or you don't have to scale. It's kind of, would be dumb to scale it, but you now have kind of really cool controls to make this kind of cool cartoony Android character. Okay, that's how simple it is to make this rig. It's a bit limited, but it's really easy and fun to make. So let's just press A to select everything, Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. That just resets the transforms. So now we're gonna go back into object mode. Let's just do a few things. Um, let's select the Android eyes. Let's just go ahead and under the modifiers, let's just apply the mirror. And let's just hold in shift with them active holding and shift let's select the android head and go control j and just join that all up as one object like that okay that's really cool um one more thing we want to do obviously is just quickly make the heart let's just grab this door press h to hide it shift a let's just add in a cube i'm going to just move it down for now and i'm going to tab into edit mode Control R to add in a loop in the middle. And I'm gonna go roll my middle mouse button twice to add in three segments and I'm gonna double click. And then in wireframe, I'm just gonna select this segment, these two verts, bring them down. Then I'm gonna go Control R over here in the middle, roll my middle mouse button once to add in two segments. They're gonna enable the X mirror. And then I'm just gonna grab these two verts, move them out. And then grab this one, move it in. Grab these two, like so. And just make a very simple heart shape, like so. Very, very simple. And then press A to select everything, go S, Y, and flatten it a bit. Control R, double click, and with this active, go Alt S, just to scale out along the normals. And now we have a very simple heart. I'm just gonna go ahead, after a bit of final shaping, tab out and I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a subdivision surface modifier. Right click and go shade smooth. Now we have a nice looking little heart. And I'm just gonna go G, Z, move that up. S to scale it and I'm gonna place it right inside of here. And might just make it a little bit more pointy towards the bottom here. Um, but you know, it's very simple to model a heart. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, I'm sure 
if you guys were able to follow along making the Android, that you can definitely make a simple harp. Um, so yeah, something like that. Maybe make it a bit bigger. I'm gonna go Alt H just to bring back the doors. Now we have all the elements. We have a way of controlling our arms. We have a way of rotating our head because we can now rotate the whole head. And we got the doors here. We can always come over here with that open door under the object data properties with the shape key and open that. So what we're gonna do in the next part, which is gonna be part three, is we're gonna do our little animation and we're gonna set up a scene to put our Android character in. So that'll be in the next part, which is part three. And if you wanna support this channel and get access to these blend files, go ahead and check out the Patreon in the description below where you'll have access to that. And it really helps support the channel as well and helps me make more future content for the community. I'll see you in part three.